Well, I'm planning to expand my pollinator garden that I put in last year. You might ask, like, what's a pollinator? Well, very simply, pollinators can be uh, honeybees or bumblebees, butterflies, even some hummingbirds, moths, etc., etc. In an actual fact, every bite of food that we take in Canada, one out of three of those bites depends on a pollinator. So they're incredibly important. What you need to consider very basically in a pollinator garden is, of course, some sun. I'm in a nice sunny spot of the garden. And you need to have a food source for the entire growing season. So spring, all through summer, as well as fall. So something as simple as a dandelion in the lawn provides very early spring food for the bees. Well, here's where I started last year. I purchased a number of kits like this designed specifically for pollinators, and boy, have they done well. Salvia in particular does quite nicely in this part of the garden. This year, I'm ramping up my game and putting in this beautiful Veronica. This variety is called Purplicious for obvious reasons, and it's in bloom mid-June is probably its season right through until the end of July, all through Canada. This guy, a Leatris, a Leatris will come into flower probably mm, end of July. So there's the summer food, late summer food, and a Coreopsis, this nice bright yellow one that attracts all manner of butterflies, uh, stays in bloom pretty well right through until frost. So there's three dandy medallion perennials that you can put in your perennial garden, put in your pollinator garden, and be pretty well assured you're going to have lots of butterflies. Look at this, folks. It's working. My pollinator garden is working. Isn't that great? First butterfly of the season. Welcome home. Over to your left, we have a buffet all ready for you. And here's another great pollinator, a lavender. Now, there are many different varieties of, of lavender. They all work wonderfully well, and they smell just great, too. No wonder the pollinators like them. But you'll notice this is not in the garden. It's in a container. You don't have to have a physical garden or a piece of land in order to encourage pollinators or for that matter grow just about anything on your balcony or your patio. That's where this is going on the patio. Look what else I found. <laughs> Backyard Bounty, a beautiful strawberry. This is going to go into a container and be hung on the wall eventually so we'll have strawberries hanging down all summer long, fresh for the picking. Well, hi there. My name's Ken Beattie, and welcome to our new video series. It's designed for folks just like you, whether your thumb is green or not so green, to look at what goes on in your garden and what you can do about it to make it the best it can possibly be.